Hello everyone, this video is about the sum if formula. It's a complement to the article, sum if formula, what is it and how to use it. You can go to the website to read the article and to download this spreadsheet to follow along. The sum if formula is one of those formulas that everybody should know how to use uh, because it's so helpful. And once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to use. So let's say you work at a fruit stand and you have a list of all the products that have been sold over a period of time. And as you can see here, it's a pretty long list. And let's say your manager comes to you and wants to know how many pears or how many apples have been sold uh, over that period of time. Well, one way to do it is just to go through the list and add up the numbers yourself. Uh, that will take way too long and it's pretty inefficient. A better approach would just be to use the SUMIF formula and let Excel do all the work for you. So that's exactly what we'll do. So here we'll type in equals sum if open parentheses and the first argument as you can see here in the tooltip is range. So the range we want to have the formula look through is the range for all of the products. So we'll type in B11 and go down to the bottom of the list uh, in B110. Hit comma. The next argument is criteria. Well this is what we want to have the formula look for in the range. So say we want to look for all of the apples. So we'll type uh, the double quotes, apple, close the quotes, comma. And the last argument is the sum range. So once it finds apple in the list, we want it to add up the quantity. So we'll just type in C11 and go all the way down to the bottom of the list in C10. And that's it. And as you can see here, 1,014 apples have been sold uh, over the course of this period you know, in this list. Well, say your manager all of a sudden wants to know, that's great, how many mangoes have we sold? Well, because we hard-coded it, we typed in apple in the formula, every time we wanted to update it with a new product, we'd have to change the formula. So instead of doing that, we'll just type in, say, apple right here and reference that cell in the formula. And because it's a cell reference, we don't need quotes, so we'll just type in e, uh, E11, and it's the same number. So whenever your manager wants an update, uh, say for oranges, we just type it in there, and the formula automatically updates. Great. Well, an even better approach would be to use data validation. So we'll just type in Alt DL, and that's the shortcut for data validation. And under Allow, we'll just type List. And the source, we'll just highlight all the products in the product list. And that creates a handy dropdown for all of the products that we have. So if we wanted to see how many pineapples have been sold, we just select it from the list. Pretty straightforward and pretty easy. And that's it. Pretty helpful. So once you get the hang of uh, the SUMIF formula, it's pretty easy to use and it's very, uh, very helpful. And if you go to the website, excelondemand.com, you can download this spreadsheet. It's under the article, SUMIF formula, what is it and how to use it. And it has some pretty cool features. It has this overview section that tells you what the formula is and what it does. The syntax or the structure of the formula and gives you a few examples. You can also click this minus button here to collapse that section to get it out of your way and to see if you can remember the points about the formula. It also has a test your knowledge section with some other sample data and some other parts for you to use the SUMIF formula to really test yourself. So that's it. I hope you liked it and if you found it helpful uh, please go to the website and subscribe for the email newsletter. You'll get updates on new articles and videos Plus, you'll also get exclusive content, exclusive videos, tips and tutorials that are only available to email subscribers. And if you know anybody that would find this helpful, just shoot them a link to it or share it with them. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Thanks for watching.